Hey, hello. Good morning, very well, how are you? There's a lot, it seems, you just have to learn by heart, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. There was like so many pages, like you just have to know that, you know, these letters are going to change to a different form at the end of words and these and it's like, whoa, there's a lot. So how's the Duolingo going? Did you manage to get closer to 50 XP each, each day? Or are you still putting some time in on that? How's it looking? You had mentioned that you have trouble studying stuff that you feel a little bit annoyed with or frustrated with. Is that right? Okay, this is a this is an idea called book ending. So begin and end your study session with what you like to do, putting the difficult material in the middle. And this will make it psychologically easier to start this time and next time. So I feel like if you're having a difficult time with some material and you're like, ah, this is frustrating. I'm not doing this. I'm out of here. And you end your study session on that note, like the last impression is a lasting impression, right? So the next, you know, you're going to have carry that feeling with you when you go off into your next activity or whatever, you'll be more reluctant to start again. So I think to have a positive start with your studies and a positive end to the studies. And the example I wanted to give you was with, um, with the Hebrew numbers. So I was just thinking like, I started having that negative cycle of thinking like, ah, I don't want to learn all these numbers. And then I was just, yeah, and it's boring too. You're like, it's like the numbers are gendered, the numbers can represent letters. <laughs> and I was just thinking, but, and at the same time, I was thinking a sense of like, um, a sense of nowhere to turn, nowhere to go, because it's like you have to learn your numbers, right? So then I started thinking, well, I will, uh, I'll start with some videos of material that I find really fun and enjoy and then go to the numbers one for like five, seven minutes, and then pop back out to content I really enjoy, and I'll kind of encapsulate it in what I like to do. And then I have a feeling of accomplishment. I didn't give up. I know like I did my numbers today or whatever, and I end with a great feeling. So maybe you can try that too with the, the grammar. I don't know if you, what's your feeling about grammar, but any content or material you're, you find boring or frustrated, maybe put it in the middle. What do you think about that? Hey, what's up guys? This is Matthew Boyle from languagecardgames.com and welcome back. You know, throughout my 10 plus years as a language instructor, I've seen countless people struggle to learn their target languages. Maybe you're one of them. I used to be one of them. But by devising my own personalized and gamified approach to learning languages, I was able to turn things around for myself and later for others. And that's what led me to establish this company, Language Card Games. Now, of course, we still struggle sometimes. We're still on our journeys. But now our struggles and our journeys are less about frustration, boredom, competition, comparison, beating ourselves over the head in order to progress. It's less about those kinds of things and those kinds of feelings. And it's much more about enjoyment and laughter and connection and natural holistic success and progress. And if that sounds like something that you want for your language learning, or maybe the language learning of someone who you know, then I want to strongly encourage you today to purchase access to my new three month gamified language coaching program. You can find the details at languagecardgames.com. It's in the shop.